What is the Dataverse? For all of my customer engagement friends out there, you probably already have a pretty good idea of what the Dataverse is. For my finance and operation consultant friends out there in the world, maybe you have a good idea, maybe you don't. Maybe you're looking to learn a little bit more about it. But for all of those Dynamics 365 newbies out there, you're probably scratching your head thinking to yourself, what is this Dataverse thing? Is that even a real word? In this video, I'm gonna give you the Cliff Notes version of what I view the Dataverse as. So let's go ahead and check it out. I like to think of the Dataverse as a platform. At the heart of the Dataverse is the actual database that lets you easily manage your data. We also have the integration layer with hundreds of connectors to help you integrate your external applications. You can use the Dataverse to build logic and validation, as well as using tools like business process flows, workflows, and more. The Dataverse also has a role-based security model built in that's easy to configure. For the pro dev, we have a variety of developer capabilities to take your applications and processes built on the Dataverse to that next level. Taking a look at this from another angle, let's talk about the Microsoft Power Platform. The marketing pitch here is that the Power Platform is the low-code platform that spans Office 365, Azure, Dynamics 365, and standalone applications. We have Power BI that makes up our reporting and analytics layer. We have Power Apps, which is the user interface layer. Here is where I can design how users will interact with my data. Next is the Power Automate, which is the business logic layer. You can create business process flows and workflows with simple triggers and actions. Then we have Power Virtual Agents which I like to think of as the communication layer. This allows us to build chatbots to automate the back and forth between various parties in your organization. The platform includes 400 plus connectors that you can use across all these apps. You can even build your own custom connectors. You can use the AI Builder to infuse artificial intelligence into your apps without the need for a data scientist. You can do things like recognize objects, use form recognition, convert speech to text, and so much more. And I like to think of the Dataverse as the wrapper for all of this. When you make a new Dataverse environment, you create solutions, install apps, and use all these tools as a part of your solution for your business problem. Dynamics 365 sales, customer service, marketing, and field service are all just what we call model-driven power apps that are built directly on the Dataverse. All these data that is from these apps is stored in the Dataverse and they're delivered as solutions. However, finance and operation apps are a little different. They're not built directly on the Dataverse but they are designed to integrate in one of three ways. First is dual write. As the name suggests, we copy data back and forth from finance and operations database into the Dataverse database. There are multiple work streams that are designed to flow back and forth out of the box, such as customers, sales, and invoices. Next are virtual entities. As the name suggests, the entities are not actually there, but they give an easy way to query and perform basic CRUD operations in the Dataverse, just as if the data is actually in the Dataverse. And lastly, we have the Data Integrator. This is a technique that you can use to copy data from one system to the other in an asynchronous way. We provide a variety of templates out of the box that map data from finance and operations to the customer engagement apps that are built directly on the Dataverse. So there you have it, the Cliff Notes version of what is the Dataverse. 
I encourage you to hop on over to powerplatform.microsoft.com forward slash Dataverse to learn more, watch some cool videos, and check out the docs. We'll see you on the next episode of Dynamics 365 Unboxed.